the 1978 Pontiac Grand Safari. We're here to drive on the algorithm of life. Oh, that's really strange. Exciting. Make sure you get those seat belts out of the way. You don't want those getting in the way of fun. This does remind me of going fishing when I was a kid. Whoa, easy. Wait, wh how are we supposed to throw things at motorists? Throw something at that guy. We don't Where's like his glasses. Plug? Quick, spit wide. <laughs> Today, we are not gonna look at any of this fancy broken garbage. Yes, we are not even gonna look at the Dodge Viper. <laughs> because today, we have the 1978 Pontiac Grand Safari. Full woody wagon, yes. I know, it's eccentric, it's ridiculous. Some may even say revolting, but I say you're wrong. This is classic American because it goes back into the era of opulent dual Cal Phaeton Duesenbergs. This is the man who owns it. I was gonna shake his hand, we'll salute. He also drives? Uh, DeLorean. How many miles are on your DeLorean? Over 243,000. How many of those did you put on it? Everything after 51,000. Yeah, that's all you need to know because Shannon is thinking outside the box. And today the box is enormous. What should I show him first? It doesn't go up like a DeLorean. No, no, it's conventional, but not for this. This is enormous. Shannon, where's the, uh, the button to put this down? Oh, it's right here. Push, down, in. Oh, yes. Look at that. How many feet is that? Eight? Yeah, so people would stick their siblings in there and then lock it, so they had to do it with the key. That's great, that is a great detail. Now, when I was a little kid, I had a fishing buddy who used to be a World War II bomber mechanic, and he had a wagon similar to this. So my story of a car such as this is riding to go fishing, and the whole thing smelled like pipe tobacco, which is great. But check this out, this is pretty great. Shannon, how many people can you put in this car? Legally? Eight. How many people can you put in it less legally? I don't know, probably comfortably nine or 10. That's weak. I remember going to the bars in Tiffin and I had, I think, nine people in my grandfather's Mercedes. It was not a big Mercedes. <laughs> there were two or three in the trunk. They weren't dead, I swear. Which is perfect for good old times in the 70s and 80s. Going to the garbage dump to shoot rats. Going fishing? What else did people do back in the day before the internet? Talk to people? I'm not brave enough to try that. I've met people. Wait a minute, what's this all about? That's not the way it opened before. Nope. Did you know it does that? How do you make it open not this way? What'd you do? I did I, the things with this. This is too exotic for me. Oh, that's really strange. And does it have a roll up window in here? But anyway, so Shan bought this actually from another DeLorean guy that had it for a long time. And the woody, uh, the wood trim here is now has a new vinyl layer over it. And it looks really, really good, restored that. But, and as silly as the car is in a lot of ways, this is actually really neat. And it is a classic piece of Americana. Come over here so you can see the side. Um, and you know, by no means is this a performance car. And it's look, frankly, is far more architectural in a way, and less like a car. But it is really cool that Shannon got it my friend, it's in great condition. How many miles are on it? 90? Uh, yeah, 97,000. 97,000? But it's in great shape. And this is just a good old fashioned car that you get to have your friends out and go on a road trip in and not be just taking life too ridiculous. It's the kind of car that you just enjoy living in. This is a funny thing Shannon said. So the carpet in the front for the parents is, ooh, nice and plush and soft. But, yes, look at this. But from here back, it's got more utility for all little ragamuffin kids. Yes. Uh, I don't know. Or 70s uh, horizontal action cleanup, perhaps. This folds down, too. This is unreal to me. Look at that. It's uh, just a really cool family wagon. We should, we should go for a ride. Yeah. Should I get one? Of, let's, I'm going to get the student. Should I get the student that's working or not working? Because if we grab the one that's not working, it's more efficient. But then we're rewarding non-work. That sounds like what the Democrats do. I'm gonna be Republican today. Let's get the guy who's working to go. Hey! What? Which one of you is working harder? Good question. Okay, come on, let's go for a ride. We'll be back soon. Yes. Come, let's be eccentric. Where do you wanna sit? I almost feel like we have to sit in the back. No. Together? Okay, well, duh. you, you sit in the, here, you sit in the back. You're like one of the kids. This is what you do. Yes. You put the kids in the back. There's no airbags. Oh, this is exciting. Make sure you get those seat belts out of the way. You don't want those getting in the way of fun. Oh, no. no. This is the 70s. Did I shut your leg in the door? Ow! It's okay, you got two. 
It's not that I don't want to ride with you, but you have a nice parents' carpet up here, and I'm a filthy person. Uh, literally not my fault. Oh, the camera guy's got to go. Where do you want to ride, camera guy? <laughs> you want to ride in the back of the cabin? <laughs> Come on, camera guy. <laughs> Back of the bus? You're oh. using your seatbelt? What a nerd. Oh, I'm sorry. Here, I'll just... Lame, dude. Lame. It's a little hard there, tough guy. Okay, well, yeah. <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting to talking to. Hey, your car's weeping gray tears over here. Is it supposed to do that? <laughs> well, this is something. Oh, my God. This does remind me of going fishing when I was a kid. Whoa, easy. How much power you got in this thing? Uh, what is it, the 400, which is basically the 380 turbo, I think? So, wait a minute, you got 400 cubic inches? Yes. And so what kind of horsepower, like 210? I And like 350 foot pounds? You. Does the air conditioning work? Oh yeah. Are we there yet? No, but if you don't sit back in your seat, I'll have to smack your bum. Whoa. It's getting graphic in here. I feel threatened. Hey, what you, you know progressive things. What's that thing you report people to if they're bad parents? Um, well, if they're bad parents, that's uh, like Child Protective Services. I call on Child Protective Services. Oh, oh, the window went up. Look back there. Wait, what, how are we supposed to throw things at motorists? Throw something at that guy. We don't Where's like his glasses. Quick, spit wide. Shoot him. Shoot him. Oh my God, we're rolling. Oh. I hope that guy finds our YouTube channel. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, Shannon, can we drive around in this sometime and I ride in the back and shoot spit wads at cars? Um, He's not liking that idea. Do you guys got any ideas we well, can get away with here? He didn't say no. He didn't say no. What if I do it and you don't know I'm doing it? Then is it okay? Maybe. Yes, that's how I got through all of my public educational schooling as a child. Okay, so what other things about this vehicle should we know? The clock doesn't work. The clock doesn't work, but you don't need to know what time it is because you get to talk to people like before the <laughs> interweb. What else? Hey, like you said, the AC works. Oh yeah, and the mirror controls, Yeah. they're not electric. They have cables? all sorts of cables and knobs that go all cables the way knobs. over there. I like that. It's like awesome. Here in the 1978 Pontiac Grand Safari, we're here to drive on the algorithm of life. Yes. And not one, but two ashtrays up front. And not one, but two ashtrays. So if you're a chain trays. smoker, this up is front. your car. If you're a chain smoker, this is your car. Oh, is this like one of those cars that, what's that guy that played Khan in Star Trek? Ricardo Montalban would talk about fine Corinthian leather. Uh, I don't know if it's fine rich Corinthian Wait, leather. Wait, show me these two uh, ashtrays. Oh, they're in the same place. It's an ashtray with a cigarette lighter in the middle. That's pretty good. I'm ready to take up smoking. Are there, there's ashtrays back here too, right? Wait, how many people could smoke in this and have their own ashtray? You guys got ashtrays back there? Uh, if you oh. count this big thing as an ashtray, sure. Uh, well, you could ash out the window. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And that, that's work. what you could throw out people. So two in the back. Oh, ashes? Yeah. Or two smokers in the fr middle. And we got two smokers in the front. That's 12 lungs we could destroy. And this is our opportunity to drive by the cemetery. <laughs> this is pretty great. So, does anybody give you thumbs up and stuff on the highway or is everybody just kind of not, you're just flying under the radar? Uh, it depends on who's, uh, on who it is uh, in town here. Yeah. It seemed like two out of five people were waving thumbs really? up or even talking to us at an intersection about asking questions about it. Yeah. <clears throat> I feel... Yeah, so Taylor and I went on vacation, right? Yep. And she wanted to go to a spa, so we took her there. So I was getting a back massage and this woman was giving me a massage and she asked me what I was in, did for a living. I just said cars and I kept it really vague. <laughs> and I don't remember how the conversation got this way, but she said something about car she likes and she said something about a Lamborghini and then went on a uh, whole thing about how people that drive Lamborghinis are the biggest douchebags in the world and if a guy <laughs> ever tried to pick her up in a Lamborghini she'd be like um no. And you're like oh, I have two of them. I did not say that. <laughs> I was thinking about, that I should like thank Daily Driven Exotics and the rest of the douchebags that ruined it for everybody. So here's the deal so does guys. does make you a double douche? A double douche because I've got two Lamborghinis to drive? Yeah, yeah it does. So here's the deal. <laughs> 
Lamborghinis are now for douchebags, whether you are a douchebag or not. And a car like this is much better for picking up women. I believe this. Gavin, you could stand a woman or two. You should get a car like this. I'll consider the advice that you are giving me about what car to get to pick up women. I'm married. You're not. I have a kid on the way. It worked. Yeah, you're like past the point where it matters for me. <laughs> but I had success at it. You have not. Did you have success in one of these? How's your French pen pal girl going? She would love this car. It's very American. Yeah. She would appreciate it's it. It's all the yeah. best of being American. Mm. Yeah. And did you not see how far all this folds down back here? I did see. I'm seeing more of these trim panels back here. Yes, it implies that there's a lot of space back here. Ooh, here's the thing. You can sleep in this car, but you can't drive your house. That's a thing people say, yeah. Mm, yeah. You're not very adventurous all, today. All the chicks went home. They did? Oh yeah, there's no one there. There's anymore. no girls? We're probably gonna get in trouble. We're gonna get reported for having this conversation about actual life. Because I said chicks. You said chicks. How many times I ever... I'm triggered. I was quoting UHF. How many times that I told you never to call chicks broads? <laughs> <laughs> That's a Weird Al Yankovic yes. movie, isn't it? How many times have I told you not to call chicks broads? Nobody says either of those words anymore. Dame. Dame? Dame. See? Arr. All right, so Gavin, you're going to trade your BMW and you're getting one of these. What? Shannon, what, what's a market value of something like this that's decent nowadays? It's probably less money than I spent on dinners dating when I was in Columbus before I met my white wife. Yeah. Just buy one of these. How? It's a better ROI. You're well, how gonna, long ago? How you're, do I adjust for inflation? You're going to get yourself a keeper woman. The car is going to stay constant in value, possibly go up because of this video. It's a win-win. You've got to sell your BMW, guys. I'm not sure, man. You're old and out of touch. Yeah, that's probably true. <laughs> on that note, you guys should subscribe. Or don't because clearly we're off the rails. You should like, comment, or troll. One correction before you what? go. You called it me the owner. I am technically a co-owner, but it was a birthday present for my wife. She has very good taste. Yes, she does. Yes, indulging in life. There's, mm -hmm. a, there's a dead wasp in here. Okay, guys. That's all the fun for today. Yes. Let's go.